Now, six months on from Russia's invasion in Ukraine, people have been showing their support for the country in many different ways. Now, a choir in the UK has marked the occasion with the release of a single based on the words by the Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky. Before we speak to the choir's director, he's here with me now. Tom, thanks for coming in. Um, let's have a listen to the song. That's Tom, and he's here now. <laughs> he's the choir director, Tom Herring. Thanks so much for coming in. That is beautiful, that piece of music. Just tell us where it came from, how it came about. Yeah, so um, creating new music is a really core part of Sansara's work. Um, and at this terrible Sansara time... Sansara is the choir. Right? Yeah, so Sansara is a vocal collective. We're based in, in London. And um, really at this time of so much terrible loss and destruction in Ukraine, um, we wanted to create something new um, and to contribute to some of the cultural regeneration that is so important um, during and, and following the conflict. Um, and so I approached Natalia, um, Natalia Tsuprik, who's the composer. Um, she's got a very um, distinct and powerful musical voice, which really does lend itself to choral music. Um, and we worked together to find some text for the piece. Um, and alongside some of the quotes from um, President Zelensky's, one of, one of his speeches, um, there's also a section from a poem by the Ukrainian poet Sehi Zhadan, who is based in Kharkiv, and he posted this poem, uh, The History of Snow, um, just two weeks before the full-scale invasion in February. Um, and that, that forms in Ukrainian and English um, the body of the text. And Natalia and I worked closely on, on developing the piece, and once it was ready, we... Um, rehearsed and recorded it at the Ukrainian Cathedral in London alongside Vivo Vocal Quartet, who are a group of Ukrainian singers based at the cathedral uh, and very much embedded into the Ukrainian community there. Um, and the culmination of all of this uh, is a new single and uh, music video of Natalia's piece, which is called A Quiet Night, Tehoi Nochi. And uh, we released that for Ukrainian Independence Day earlier this week. Mm. Um, and we've, with the release, we've also launched a fundraising appeal for the Ukrainian Welcome Centre. Just briefly, if you want to watch it, if you want to um, donate to that appeal, where do you, where do you go? So the video is on uh, our YouTube channel uh, and there's a lot more information on our website, which is sansaraquire.com. Uh, the appeal is also there and you can find, find out more about what the Welcome Centre does. What was it like working with Natalia? I'm sure you never... Well, I'm sure she never imagined she would be in a country that had been invaded. I'm sure you never thought you'd be working with mm. a Ukrainian composer. Yeah, so working... Europe, as it were. Yeah, working with Natalia has been an amazing experience. Um, as I said, she's got a very powerful musical voice. Um, and I think for her, for us, it's been a, just a real privilege to, um, to work with her and, and also uh, enable her to really give voice to her... Um, feelings and experience during this terrible time and, um, and she's been based in London um, for, for this year. And, oh, um, so she came over here, did she? Well, she's been based in London for a while, but I think her, her whole family is, is based in, in Kiev and I know that she has been back recently, um, just this last week, in fact, as well. And, and so the opportunity to express um, herself and to share um, her experience of the war and put that into music um, I think it was, it was valuable for her and, and you know, it's, it's been a real privilege for us to, to play a part in that. Mm. It, one, one word that I feel as I listen to it is it, it's haunting almost. Yeah, uh, and I think um, Natalia has, has really captured something, um, particularly from the Jordan text that's in there. There's an, an image in the poem of uh, a choir singing out over the ramparts of the city that they're trying to defend, singing through the snow. So it's a kind of misty, um, snowy scene. And um, I think, you know, she's really captured something of the uh, collective sense. The first line is, it is us who sing in the quiet of the night. Um, and the music's really got that poignancy. Uh, and 
and also a, a very broad, rich sound that um, kind of echoes the, the strong choral tradition in Ukraine. OK, Tom, thanks so much for coming in. I want to end um, with parts of that song. Let's have a listen. Bye from us this morning. <laughs>